Hello, this is Yanis Varoufakis with a message regarding the Democracy in Europe movement, DiEM25. Looking at the events of 2021, it is abundantly clear, at least to me, that DiEM25 has never been more necessary than today. In this video, I shall try to share with you some ideas as to why it is necessary and what the road ahead for DiEM25 might be, a road that you may want to join us on. The last two years of the pandemic have proven, amongst other things, that the money tree is alive and well, and that it is being plucked by the oligarchy on behalf of the oligarchy. The central banks of the G7 have printed around 9,000 to 10,000 billion dollars. That's 9 to 10 trillion dollars. Too many zeros for the human brain to fathom. But just think of it as nine, let's say. Let's be conservative, yeah? nine. Of those nine trillion dollars, around three and a half have ended in the pockets of the Jeff Bezos, the Zuckerbergs, but 20 oligarchs around the world. It is quite astonishing. The very same people who are against the state, who scream blue murder if the little people get you know, a small increase in their unemployment benefit or a great uh, sum of money being spent on national health services, they have no problem with the state printing mountain ranges of money and giving it to them. During the same time, the same two years of the pandemic, the fossil fuel industry has conspired to ensure that COP26, the great gathering in Glasgow a few months ago that was supposed to be humanity's last chance to avert climate breakdown, that chance has been absolutely destroyed on purpose by design. Yes, they arrived in Glasgow and they made wonderful pronouncements and they even talked about 130 trillion dollars being in the service of humanity, but in the end, all they did was to use the false promise of net zero in order to snuff out any real hope of a proper green transition. And then you have Mark Zuckerberg with a remarkable, audacious, visionary dystopic announcement that he wants to turn Facebook into a 3D space, digital space, in which people interact, play, work together, um, entertain themselves, uh, transact, do everything mm, in this digital realm that will belong entirely to him. This is no, no longer capitalism. It is a kind of supercharged, turbocharged feudalism, only of a digital variety. Elon Musk may be talking about taking us all to Mars, but of course this is just rubbish. But Mark Zuckerberg's dystopia is just around the corner. What he's planning to do is eminently feasible within the next few months, maybe years. So how do we stop them? How do we put the demos back into democracy? Because what we have is not democracy. For decades now, if not forever, we have oligarchy, which is becoming even more oligarchic and concentrated with periodic elections just to confirm and to legitimize that regime. What do we do? How do we oppose them? The answer must be that we too, progressives, must internationalize our activities. Zuckerberg, Wall Street, fossil fuel companies, they are acting internationally. They are transnational in their thinking and in their actions. We need to do the same. DiEM25 is the first transnational progressive movement where we all meet, whether we're Germans, Greeks, Irish, French, Lebanese for that matter, it really doesn't matter at all. We are one transnational movement. Recently, we set up a second Mera 25 party. Mera 25, the original one, is a Greek party. I represent it in Parliament here in Greece. Now we have Mera 25 in Germany. It is the same movement. We all share the same party movement infrastructure. What we must now do is create such parties where they're absolutely necessary, and in other places, like in the United Kingdom, use dm 25s infrastructure in order to bring together existing political forces, something we have been doing in the context of the very successful Save Our NHS campaign. During 2022, we are going to be rewriting our manifesto. Our original 2016 manifesto was a very important document, but now it needs to be updated. We need to radicalize ourselves because the situation has become radically more harsh for the many and much easier for the tiny, tiny majority that control the world's fate and in the process do untold damage to it. 
DiEM25 and Mera25 will be working very hard across Europe at the analytical level, the cultural level, we have DM Voice, our artistic platform. We have Meta, the center for post-capital civilization, because we are already in post-capitalism, except that it is heavily and awfully uncivilized. It's the opposite of civilization. It's barbarous. We're talking about the post-capitalism that is civilized, a kind of ecological socialism, in other words, so as not to mince our words. While at the same time, we need to entrench ourselves in the movements in the neighborhoods, in the factories, in the warehouses, while at the very same time connecting with the precariat out there, which does not fit anymore in the neat categories that the left used to have, capitalists on the one hand and proletariat on the other. Now, if you're asking yourself what role you can play in all this, in DiEM25, well, don't ask, just do. If you haven't already joined DiEM25, along with Noam Chomsky, Naomi Klein, Slavoj Zizek, Caroline Lukas, and tens of thousands of progressive activists and thinkers from around the world, not just Europe. Well, do it. Visit dm25.org and join. Of course, joining is not enough. You need to participate. DM25 is a grassroots movement, and we need political organization, as I said, in the neighborhood, in the region, in the state, in Europe, in the academy, in the trades unions movement, everywhere where we need to bring the message of a rapture with the way we have been doing things. What do I mean by rapture? A radical departure from the private ownership of the means of production and from financialization. But there is this other form of important activity which is not tantamount to activism per se, donating. Because let's face it, we live in capitalism or post-capitalism or techno-feudalism, as I say, it doesn't matter money still makes things happen and DiEM25 needs your donation. Why all this? Because our opportunities to save the planet for humanity and to continue to live life as autonomous human beings, not as playthings of Mark Zuckerberg, of Wall Street, of the Frankfurt banks, of the oligarchy in Brussels, in Athens, in Rome, those opportunities are narrowing. This is the time for DiEM25, which is, I insist, more relevant today than it ever was, to rise up and to make a difference. And you need to be a part of it. Carpe diem.